This is a, uh, a quick opal cutting tip here. I have this old opal that I got at an estate and uh, it has a few little bits and scratches on it. So what I'm going to do is cover it in a Sharpie and then proceed with polishing. And then as I polish it away, I'll be able to see where the nicks and scratches are. So I don't need to remove a lot of material, so I'm going to start out on my on my 1200 grit wheel here. And you can see it's real easy to tell where I've cut and where I haven't. So I'm just going to go to town on that here. I need to put down the camera so I can do some cutting with two hands. So here we are. I've gone through the 1200 grit and I don't see any, well, there's a little bit of black right there towards the tip. So you know, and there's these two little black spots here and here. So I can go just a little further. I've got enough fire here, there's enough depth to this here that I can still cut a little deeper. Get those last two little nicks out and then move on to the 3000 grit. Okay, now I've got, the, got those nicks out. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 3000 grit. It's amazing just how much it changes when you go to the, uh, the 3000 grit. It's starting to look really nice. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the diamond paste polish and get this thing looking wet and glossy. Here's the diamond paste here. I'm gonna start out with a, a 3.5 micron. So just chuck this up there into my Fordham hand piece here. These particular felt bits have a 1 8 inch bit instead of a 3 30 seconds. So you need to have this type of hand piece in order to use these particular ones, but you can also get, if you have a quick change one, you just get smaller shafts. So no, Coolant needed, just go slow. Uh, all of these pastes are color coded to make it a lot easier to see how much paste you've got on there and to keep them separate. So you just go, go lightly, go slow. Not putting a lot of pressure on the stone. All right, in between each one, I just wipe it down with a soft cloth. And in this case, I'm actually using baby wipes. The, um, they have a very, very small amount of uh, alcohol added to the cloth and they're wet. And that helps me to clean them off nicely. So you're gonna do, just gonna do each of that. And I'm gonna go through the um, pink, which is 2.5, 1.51, and then 0.5 micron grits here and wiping it off in between each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you the finished results. So I, I like this overall method, you know, use a Sharpie to start out with and then hit it with 600 grit on your polishing wheel, uh, wet, work through the 3000 grit on the Genie or King, uh, Cab King or whatever you've got in the shop. And um, you know, it only, you only need about 10, 15 minutes and you can take an old estate opal and restore it to uh, a gym quality opal without a lot of extra tools and hassle. And so if you have old opals sitting around, uh, it's something you can do yourself with pretty minimal tools, uh, especially this, this grade, which you could do with a, a Dremel uh, or anything else that has a rotary shaft. All right, here is the finished stone. Uh, all in, this took me about 15 minutes. Now I have a beautiful opal that is ready to set in jewelry. And uh, 
the thing I like about Opal like this is that I, I wouldn't call it a new Opal. I'd call this an estate Opal. But knowing that this Opal has uh, survived the test of time, it's, it's not cracked or crazed. It hasn't faded or, or changed any colors. Uh, I know it's Australian. And so I know that I can sell this to a customer mounted in a ring or loose and that it's, it's not going to have any problems. So uh, one thing I'll just point out is that I'm using a brass top here in super glue. In this case, I was able to just simply grip the stone and pull it off. It's a very thick stone, so I wasn't worried about breaking it or chipping it. And then I can simply scrape the glue off the back. Uh, if you are worried about breaking the stone, simply take the whole thing, the opal and the dop, and put it in a container of uh, denatured alcohol, and it will slowly dissolve the glue away. After about 24 hours, your opal will just be ready to pluck out of the jar and be good to go. That's it. Thanks for watching.